Hello and welcome back to another Price HD video. Today we have got another potential squad builder. Well, not squad builder because it's not using Ultimate Team, but just a team which could potentially be on FIFA 15 for many different clubs. This time we're using Arsenal. Of course, this one's a very controversial one. Again, like I said in the last Man United one, um, I haven't changed any ratings of the players which were already in the club due to the fact that I don't want to mess around with that. I've changed a few ratings um, from just a matter of quick opinion. It's not like detailed looks into them. So if the ratings are controversially incorrect or you don't agree with them, then um, it doesn't matter because I probably don't agree with most of my own ratings. I just change them quickly. They're a bit of an average, if you know what I mean. I hope you understand that. But anyway, let's get right into this. Of course, Arsenal's a very controversial team to do. Many, many transfers are controversial with Arsenal. Um, but let's just start off. I think they should keep Chesney in goal. I think he is going to be their first team goalkeeper, even if they do buy another goalkeeper. Debussy is confirmed as their new right back. Matthew Debussy, of course, an insane player. Um, well, on FIFA anyway. Uh, in real life, mm, I'm not too sure about Debussy in real life. Of course, prone to getting a lot of red cards. Of course, high work rate as well. Attackively, really more like mid in a way. He's very good on FIFA and he's gone up to the rating of 80 on FIFA now. That isn't without me changing anything. I haven't changed him at all. I don't know about the transfer. I think he'll be decent at Arsenal, but I still think that they could have maybe pulled off a slightly better one. I mean, at the age of 27, I know in FIFA anyway, he will be moving on soon. You won't be able to play with him for too many seasons. In real life, uh, he's got at least three, four seasons left in him, but whether he'll be good enough for Arsenal in four seasons, well, we'll find out, won't we? In centre-back positions, I think Mertesack and Koscielny are still needed. They're perfect centre-backs to have. Gibbs can stay left back. He has just been given the number three shirt in real life as well. Ramsey slots in in CDM along with Schneiderlin. Now, we'll talk about that later. But Schneiderlin, I've put up to an 81 rating. Of course, he might not be an 81 rating. We, won't, we don't know yet. I'm not saying that will be his rating. I'm not doing a prediction video. I'm doing a potential team video, not prediction of players. Of course, he is an insane player. He has been brilliant for Southampton, but he definitely deserves an 80-plus rating, in my opinion. Even if 81 is too high, I think he definitely deserves an 80, uh, for sure. Um, Schneiderlin, he's been class for Southampton. I think he's done incredibly well there. I think he can do work at Arsenal in the same way. Kazola, he is 84 rated in this game. I think they should stick with him in left mid or right mid, whichever way you want to put them. And Oxlade Chamberlain as well. I think he should slowly turn into their first team uh, winger. Of course, Walcott's out injured. Maybe Walcott will come back in. Of course, um, uh, of course, Podolski is also there, but he's not very good on FIFA anyway anymore. He's gone down to 77. So I've left him out just due to this. In camp, we have got Meza Ozil. Again, maybe not the best of seasons last year, but he certainly deserves to stay in this team. And then up front, the man himself, Alexis Sanchez. What a boss. And in my opinion, a great signing on Arsenal's part, to be honest. Some people have said, oh, they really overreact. And I say that a lot of the time. I say that they overreact. But here, no. I think Alexis Sanchez is a super Herb signing for Arsenal. He will be pretty much world class there, in my opinion. I've given him an 84 rating again. Controversial. Some people will be like, no, he doesn't deserve that, etc., etc. Again, um, in real life, of course, you could always plop Alexis Sanchez there and then plop Giroud there, or Giroud, however you want to say it. Um, but Giroud, um, uh, Giroud, what do I think of Giroud? I think he can be really good, but he's incredibly inconsistent. And he's a bit sluggish, but he's got a good control. He's got a good touch. He can do some magic out of nothing. And he can play well, but it's just that he doesn't always play well. So it's quite disappointing. But of course, like I said, you could play Alexis Sanchez on the right. But I think he might actually play striker for Arsenal Sanchez. Um, he's been given the number 16 shot in real life. Uh, so I'm going to leave Giroud out for now. 
I think he will be potent up in strike position. I think he's pretty much just as good there. He's one of them players who can play on the wing, but when they're up front, they are overpowered as fudge cake. Um, but anyway, in the bench, of course, we've got no defenders on the bench, but of course, one of the players who might be joining is Kadira. Now, I'm saying it's either Kadira or Schneiderlin. Um... Because they're not going to replace Ramsey, and you've still got Wilshire there, you've got Flamini and Arteta. Of course, Flamini and Arteta will be moving on soon. Wilshire and Ramsey are the future in that CDM area, and Kadira um, or Schneiderlin would be the third CDM, so they've got depth there. But they, they're saying strong defensive midfield position is really good. It's one of their best positions, in my opinion. Um, now they've got Flamini and Arteta, Ramsey... Wilshire isn't fully on performing, but he's still a decent player. I think um, I think it's one of their best positions on the on in real life. Or instead of Kadira, because apparently his wages are too much, uh, they have just had a bid rejected from William Carvalho. Now I don't know whether some of the, um, I've pre-recorded this, so whether some of these players have signed since. Well, you can tell me that in the comment section. But I've pre-recorded this. Um, might even be two weeks old this video, so uh, don't. Don't like. Just tell me down below. Of course, I'll find out any eventually. Anyway, but because I pre-recorded this, um, these two players haven't joined yet. Neither Schneiderlin, Debushi has just joined. Um, again, Wilshire on the bench, Giroud on the bench. That is pretty much what I think the Arsenal team will look like. Here's the reserves. Of course, you have got Nacho Monreal there. Um, Sanya's gone, obviously. Uh, also, you have got Joel. Campbell or Yol Campbell, if you like, going coming back from his loan spell at Olympia because he might be leaving to Newcastle apparently, but um for certain he is definitely coming back from his loan spell. Um that is going to wrap up this video. I'm not gonna play with this team due to time restrictions and I've got a I've got a this is just a quick video really which I've got to pretty much wrap up now. I do thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Sorry that I didn't play a, um, play a game in this episode with this Arsenal team. In the next episode, I might actually be venturing out of the Premier League. Who knows? I've got quite a few of these coming your way. And I do thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.